Jurgen Bremer will fight Rob Brandt in the quarterfinal of the World Boxing Super Series Super Middleweight uh, Tournament. Now, Bremer is a veteran. He's been around a very long time. He has campaigned mostly at light heavyweight during his career. I believe very, very early on in Jurgen Bremer's career, he did have a few fights at super middleweight. But for the most part, he's been campaigning at light heavyweight. Uh, certainly during his championship reign, a super, uh, uh, light, uh, sorry, his championship reign, he's been campaigning at light heavyweight rather than super middleweight. So Bremer, for those of you who don't know, he is 38 years old. He's from Germany. He stands 5 foot 11 inches tall. He has a record of uh, let me see here now. 51 fights, 48 wins, three losses, no draws, 35 of his wins coming by knockout. He is primarily a boxer. He can punch a bit with his left hand, so you can say boxer puncher. Uh, he's a technical guy, certainly not a pressure fighter. He's quite accurate, Jürgen Bremer. Decent defense. He's a pretty tough guy. Um, but he hasn't made super middleweight for many, many years. How is he going to make it now at 38 years old? Will it weaken him significantly? Because it's quite a few pounds you got to lose. 175 pounds down to 168. Now, one thing I will say is Jürgen Bremer has never been the biggest light heavyweight in the world. Uh, for his last fight against Nathan Cleverly, he weighed in at 173 pounds. So he was two pounds under the light heavyweight limit. And there have been many fights where Jürgen Bremer has weighed significantly below the light heavyweight limit. So, um, I hope I haven't been messing up and saying super middleweight here, but, but yeah, he's, he's known to weigh in several pounds below the light heavyweight limit in numerous fights that he's had at light heavyweight. So not the biggest light heavyweight in the world, but still, even if he's weighing in at 173, getting down to 168, that's five pounds less. He's got to dehydrate five extra pounds that he's not used to dehydrating. How well will he do that at 38 years old? How much will that weaken him? His opponent, Rob Brandt, is, let me see here, 26 years old. He is unbeaten. He stands 5'11", again, the same kind of height as Jürgen Bremer. He is an orthodox fighter, whereas Bremer, Bremer is a southpaw. He has a record of 22 wins, no losses, no draws, with 15 knockouts. I haven't seen Rob Brandt fight myself. Uh, I'm just taking a quick scroll through his record and there is virtually nobody on his record that I recognize which is not a good sign <laughs> when you've had 22 fights and I don't recognize anybody on your record are you being protected what's that really all about so I, I can't say too much about Rob Brent because again he's fought nobody that I've ever heard of and I haven't seen him fight so <laughs> you guys are going to have to fill me in in the comment section about Rob Brent and how good this guy actually is. Um, could he be a dark horse in this particular tournament? Jurgen Bremer, on the other hand, we know he's been in there with all kinds of names that you'll be familiar with. He obviously fought Nathan Cleverly in his last fight. Strange fight, actually. I thought that Bremer was doing well in that fight. I thought he was ahead in the fight. I think the judges actually had him ahead. And inexplicably, he pulled out after six rounds in the fight. So a strange performance uh, in losing to Nathan Cleverly in a fight that he was winning. He's also fought people like Enzo Macronelli. He's fought people like um, Edward Goodnecht. Unfortunately, we know Goodnecht's situation. He fought Dmitry Sokotsky. That's somebody that uh, Adonis Stevenson knocked out not too long ago or a couple of years ago, actually. Uh, he fought basically the who's who of German super middleweights, Jürgen Bremer. So he's definitely fought more notable names than Rob Brandt has. Although, you know, going for his record again, to be fair, Bremer didn't fight <laughs> the best of the best at all. But he certainly fought more notable names than Rob Brandt has ever faced. And again, Bremer's a veteran. He's been around for a long time. He knows all the tricks. He's a, a skilled southpaw technician. That's how I would describe him. But he's a veteran. So I, I, this is really an enigma to me, this fight, because I've got no idea how good Rob Brandt is. Never watched him fight. And Jürgen Bremer, I know all about him. I know exactly how he fights. I've watched him countless times. But at 38 years old, dropping all this weight, how is that going to affect him? So 
You tell me, people, who's going to win this fight. I've really got no idea. You know, I've really got no idea. Is Jürgen Bremer going to be a dead man? 168 pounds at this age? Or can he still be effective? Who knows? Drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know how you think this fight is going to go, how these styles match up, and who you think is going to win. All right? Simon, I'm out.